After we've completed the training sample, the next step is sentiment model development. Tell us about that process. Yeah, that, that's a good question. Um, to talk about the model itself, uh, I'll, I'll highlight this slide. Um, we're using a, a kind of a Bayesian analysis way, a Bayesian math approach to calculating um, the negative and positive values. So what happens with this is we'll use the overall amount of terms that are positive or negative in our dictionary as the denominator um, in our prior um, values in, the, in the, uh, the equation. And as that model goes through, we'll always, we always keep the same um, backend algorithm for calculating the math of, of how we actually generate a positive and negative term. When that math runs through, it's going to look at our list, which is the primary thing that we're modifying. Uh, we're changing the dictionary with adding or removing terms. We're potentially changing inverting terms, adding or removing inverting terms from that inversion list. And then we can also change our, our prior um, values. Um, we can set those as overall term um, values. And we can also change the amount of characters that we're looking for for an inverting term. But for the most part, since we've used this model for a variety of other different research activity, we've really optimized those values from previous exercises. So the model itself is really locked in. And what we're doing is really changing the dictionary of terms to create that domain specific model. And so as we go through and change these terms, we rerun that analysis until we get to the point where we're at that 80% or above reliability so that we can then go to our secondary level of, of running CAPA analysis on those results.